Welcome back everyone. As you know, I haven't been uploading for a couple of weeks again. That's because I've been working on something behind the scenes. And that's because the bike is inside uh, for a few weeks now. Now, why is the bike inside? As you can see, like everything is loose. I've disassembled a lot of things. Why did I do that? Well, I don't know if you can remember, but I put some LEDs in here. Uh, a few of them stopped working. And I thought, you know what, this is a good opportunity to upgrade those LEDs. So I'm going to show you what I got. So the thing is, when you're working on your bike, the moment you think you're done, you come up with new ideas. Now, the previous idea ha I had were these small LEDs. Were, were these small LEDs. They look cool when you're looking directly upon them, but uh, they don't have a lot of bleed. I like that at first, but in some of the lightings you don't see them very well anymore. So instead, I bought this one. Now this is the old LED, this is the new one. So what I'm going to have to do is drill out a couple of holes, because as you can see this one is a lot thinner than this one. So I, so I have to see if I can fit these bigger ones in the same holes of, as the smaller ones and drill out those holes. So let's get into it. So here we are inside the cockpit. I've drilled out these two holes. I need to drill out this one a little bit more because I have a washer that sits against this raised up part. Uh, it doesn't make it flush anymore so I have to drill out this hole a little bit more. And if you remember there is a bracket here like this that shined out the light into the cockpit now these were the holes of that previous light but when mounting these LEDs into the same holes they don't go past this air intake so I had to zip tie them on the outside of the bracket which works I mean they're they're sturdy they won't go anywhere so that works, so now we can blind ourselves with some bigger LEDs which will sit like this. There was a piece of aluminum that I had to break off to make room for this uh, LED here. And as you can see, it's very tight on this LED's part so I have to draw this hole a little bit more. And here on the bottom where we previously had this little guy, we now have this piece of hunk. which is under here that I had to draw, draw out as well. The bracket is back where it belongs. As you can see here, we got enough space here and we got enough, just about enough space on the top as well. We got the two shining into the air vent and we got the two shining into our face. Now what I'm going to do is attach these wires where they belong and we'll see how they look. I've temporarily, I temporarily collected the wires, so now we can see how they work. If I press the button, look at this, look at this beauty. You can already see the one in the air intake. Like previously, it wasn't that clear. But now it's very clear. And this is even in daylight. So I wonder how it will look like during nighttime. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some shrink wire around it and then uh, solder it. Now this black wire is the one that I'm going to start on. Uh, make sure that your battery is connected, everything is turned on. And your lights are on because the moment you bind them together and the lights don't go... Oh. 